What's up y'all, it's Timmy. And today I'm gonna show you how to probably fix your rear door that's not unlocking anymore on your old Ford pickup. So let's get to it. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. So right here, we have my 1996 Ford F-350. It's a crew cab, power stroke diesel. This works with a gas or a diesel, doesn't matter. This trick I'm gonna show you will work for any vehicle out there. If you're hitting your power lock on your truck or car and you're clicking unlock and lock and it's not opening one of the doors, that means there's a good chance that your door actuator is unplugged. So I'm gonna show you how to get that plug back in. And that way your door will work again like this. One trick you can do is get a pair of pliers and put it on that doorknob and pull up at the same time that you're hitting the unlock button with the front door. And that'll help slide that up so you can get your door unlocked. If your door is stuck and you can't get it unlocked, it really sucks, but you're gonna have to remove your rear seat. That way you can take your door panel off. So luckily I was able to use pliers and click the unlock button at the same time as pulling up with the pliers and it unlocked the door. So now we're gonna get this door panel off is the first step. So here's what the actuator looks like. You can pull this little boot back and kind of look at it in more detail, but the first thing I'm gonna do is get this door panel off, so let's get to it. What you're gonna do is just look around in your door panel it's mainly Phillips head screws. Take all the Phillips head screws out that you can find. Then you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and start popping your panel out carefully all the way around. I'd recommend using a drill as long as you're careful with it. It's a lot faster. Drill with a Phillips head bit. So now the bottom of the panel is totally loose. You'll find our next one right down in there. Obviously you gotta remember where these screws go at the ends. So try to be smart about it. When you pop it out, it's held in place with a little plastic plug, so be kind of careful, don't be too rowdy with it. Those little plugs should pull out all the way around. Once you get all your screws off, your three bottom screws, and you pop all the sides out, you take that trim off, and you're gonna shimmy, kind of pull out, and shimmy up in your door panel, and it should disconnect from everything. Be careful not to just rip it off, because you get your door light, you can see it's actually lit up right now, so. You need to unclip that door light and then also unclip the connection to the power window there. And to get your little power door light out, it's just a twist. There's nothing to pinch. You just twist it counterclockwise and it pulls out just like a light bulb. I'll go over here and you can see there's a harness for your window. So I'm gonna disconnect that. There's a little clip right here and you just stick a screwdriver blade in there and pry up a little bit. You should be able to slide that out. So now we're gonna locate the door actuator. At this point, you go ahead and peel your plastic back. Try not to rip it, that way you can kind of retape it, reuse it when you're done. Just getting into it. All right, now once you get your door panel off, your door actuator is going to be at the part that unlocks the door right there. So it's gonna be on that side of your door. So if you look in here, the door actuator is right down there, the bottom outside of the door. At the bottom of your actuator, is a cable and a plug and it turns out that that plug is pointing straight down so it's easy for gravity just to shake it loose and fall down and it turns out my plug was totally disconnected at the bottom of the actuator at the bottom of the door so i just grabbed the plug plugged it back in and put a new doorknob post so if you break off a doorknob post you just unscrew it from right there you just literally grab the knob unscrew it and it comes off to put the new post on, you just screw the new post on. Super easy. Now check it out. I'm gonna hit lock and unlock. Oh yeah, baby. We're back in business. All right, there we go. Got a nice new lock knob on there. Come over here to the unlock and lock button. Works great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it saved you some time and hopefully you're lucky like me and your actuator was just unplugged from rattling down dirt roads. That's all I got for today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like to see more of my content. I do videos every week and we'll see you next week. Peace, y'all.